There are planets, there are stars, and then there is something that falls somewhere in between. Brown dwarfs. These are interstellar objects. They're heavier than gas giant planets, but lighter than stars, which is why they're also called failed stars. And scientists have found them mingling unusually. They have discovered two brown dwarfs locked with two single stars. It's what they're calling the double-double, or in scientific terms, the quadruple star system. Now, this is incredibly rare, and this exciting discovery unlocks a series of mysteries. Our next report tells you more. For decades now, scientists have been combing through huge catalogs of stars, the big ones, the faint ones, and everything in between. But over the past few years, one particular type has been the star of the show. Brown dwarf. This is an interstellar object. It is too heavy to be called a gas giant planet, like Jupiter or Saturn, and too light to be a true star. It doesn't have intense pressure or temperature, which is why the cold brown dwarf is often called a failed star. So it fits somewhere between a gas giant and a true star, and it has become a fascinating subject for scientists. But now, they have discovered something even more exciting. When astronomers were scouring through the star catalogs in our galaxy, the Milky Way, they first thought that they saw a lone brown dwarf orbiting a bright star. But then they investigated further and found that what they were seeing wasn't one, but two brown dwarfs. And soon, they realized that the dwarfs weren't dancing around one star. Their companion was a pair of bright stars. If this sounds odd, that's because it is. This is an incredibly rare but interesting star system what the scientists are calling a double-double, but that's not its scientific name. This discovery is called a quadruple star system, with a brown dwarf mingling with another, locked in an orbit with two bright stars, which are also circling each other. This system is about 82 light years from Earth. A light year is the distance that light travels in a vacuum. So 82 light years means the distance that light travels in 82 years. And in more real terms, it is about 776 trillion kilometers away from Earth. That's unimaginably far. And that is exactly where the quadruple star system exists, in an orbit more than 1,600 times as wide as the distance between our planet and the Sun. Now, quadruple star systems are not unheard of. They are important, because the formation of stellar systems is not a simple process. Think of it as sharing your room with someone. You might just get along, but if you don't expect uncomfortable, angry clashes, things can get ugly really fast. And this is kind of how stars work. If they form too close together, they can gravitationally knock each other out and scatter at hyperfast speeds. But some stars survive this process, and they come together to form stellar systems, pardon the pun. Yet, many mysteries lie here. How do the stars get here in the first place? How do these systems come about? This is an especially big question when the brown dwarfs are involved. These objects form like stars, but they have too little mass to fuse hydrogen. This is the process that heats the star and makes it shine. So brown dwarfs are cold and faint, which makes them difficult to study. But when they are near brighter stars, measuring them becomes much easier. So does understanding the star systems that they form. And this is exactly what makes this discovery special as scientists reach for the stars. First post now available in nine languages on YouTube. English. French. Le FMI. German. Hindi. Indonesian. Italian. Japanese. Portuguese. Spanish. Go to settings. 
Click on audio track and select the language of your choice. Be the first to know what's happening around you in your first language. First post.